In this lecture, we can talk about assertions. The most important part of any testing is to assert and verify if the functionality that we are trying to test is working as expected or not. So we have been talking about the action on the UI, but we have not verified if the action that we have performed in the UI is correct or not. So that has to be asserted. So how do I do the assertion? That is the most important thing that we need to understand. So we can use any testing libraries like a Chai library or Mocha library or just library. The most important thing over here is we are using the Playwright test. And Playwright test is super powerful, highly customizable, as I told you before. It also comes along with an assertion library in it, which is nothing but the expect library of just. So if you don't know what I really mean about the expect library, just search for expect JS, something like this. You see that this is going to be from the justjs.io. And if you see here, this is an assertion library, which gives you a number of matchers that will let you validate different things. And this is just, once again, very, very popular and being supported by Facebook. And it is quite popular. And a lot of companies are really using it. And even unit testing frameworks are like the React or any other testing tool includes the expect library out of the box or the just library out of the box. And that's exactly what Playwright does as well. So if you just go to the Playwright over here, and if you just search for expect here in the search, something like this, you see that the there is the expect not, expect to be checked, expect stuff comes up. And this particular expect is coming because there is an Playwright test with the expect library over here. So Playwright test uses the expect library under the hood, which has the functionality to extend it with the custom matchers. This is exactly the same custom matcher that we're talking about over here. So as I told you, expect comes along with the Playwright plus runner. We could even able to use the expect out of the box within the Playwright test using one of the constant. So if I just put expect, you see that if I just put E, then the expect comes in. We don't really require Chromium because we are not using it anymore. And we just want the expect here. Now, with this expect constant, I can just type expect. And if I just open, you see that there is an actual message that I want to verify. Let's say actual one. And then if I hit dot, and it is going to show you a whole lot of method. See, something like this. And then I can say to be less than or equal uh, to one. We could just specify that over here. So this is how we could do the assertion operations in the playwright using the expect library. And that's exactly what we are going to be using it over here. So let's try to run this code and see what is really happening. If I go to the testing over here, and you know that this code is going to anyways pass because one is to be less than or equal to one anyways. So the test is eventually going to pass there. And you see that this has got passed here. It took like one millisecond to execute this particular line of code. I am just going to do an actual assertion, not this one is equal to uh, equal to one or not like that. But I want to verify this launch text. So once I click the launch uh, from the menu bar from the category over here from the home and garden launch, I want to verify if the launch is coming up over here or not. So in order to do that, once again, we are going to be doing the assertion operation. And you see that there is this title class and I can use the launch. So even before we do that, let's try doing this dollar dollar and we can see if the class name is correct so there is only one class with title of course there is only one class with title so we can use a css selector here so i can just do like that so i can just go await page dot and then i can say locator with dot title and then i can say i'm gonna get this particular title over here so i'm just gonna say var title like that and even I can get all its inner text if I wanted to or the text content if I wanted to you see that there is a method called as all inner text or all text content or we can also get the text content if you wanted to so you see that this text content method is going to get the text which is available on the title and then I can verify using the expect so I'm just going to try out so I expect the title to be launch just this one expect uh, maybe title to be I'm just gonna say oops launch 
I just want to verify if this is going to work or not. So let's try running this code once again and see. But before even I do that, I'm going to bring up the UI because it's not showing us anything there. Just going to revert this code. And now if I go back and let's try running the test. And you can see that the test has already got passed. So it took just zero milliseconds to even uh, run it for us and like it is executed. I don't know zero millisecond is true or not, but it should have one at least 0 0.01 millisecond or something like that. So it is executing. So the expect is really passing for us. So let's say if I put like launcher something like that, and if I try running the test, and the test is failing, and you will notice that the playwright test runner is super intelligent to tell us exactly what is really going on there. It says the expect received to be expected which is the expected is launches but the received is launch so we have an expectation mismatch there which is good so it is working as expected and once again the power of test runner uh, in the playwright plugin is really helping us to show us what is really going on there so it's cool so this is how we could able to use the expect library to do a lot of things and there are many different things that we can do with the assertions over here. For example, we can also verify it to be falsy or it to be greater than or equal to, to be less than or to be truthy, to contain a text or to match an object, to match a snapshot. I mean, those things we'll be talking about later on, but you will see that the assertion is working fine for us without any problem. But now, it's not just that to be is what the playwright team has really implemented because the to be is the part of the just itself. So if you go to the just website over here in the expect, you can see that they already have the to be method to have been canceled, to have been uh, called, to have been called, to have been called times, to have returned, to have property, something like that. I mean, they have a lot of different uh, methods over here. But you'll also notice that Playwright team has also improved this just a lot, as I told you before. Playwright team has really extended the assertion library a lot. So if you go to the Playwright website over here, you can see that there is a separate section called as assertions, where in the assertion, they have given a lot more detail about the expect library they really have extended in the Playwright. And that's exactly what we are going to be discussing in this video as well as in the next video. So if you just go over here within our code, we said like in order to get the title and verify, we just use this dot text content and then we verified it is working fine. Basically, the title that we are verifying is going to be this particular title, right? This guy. But this particular page itself has got a separate title if I'm not wrong. So if you just search for a title over here as I have did over here, you can see that they have got a lot of different titles like launch suite, launch coach, uh, and there is a pipe symbol and then it says the warehouse. So this is the actual title of this particular page. We can able to verify this actual title instead of this particular launch that we are doing in a hard way. So how do we even do this particular code? So if we just go back to our code over here and then I'm just going to say we can even, you know what, let this code be here. And then, and because this is going to be a synchronous code, always make sure that you do an await. If not, this code is not going to let the other code to execute or this code is going to run in a different thread and it's going to give us a different result altogether. So over here, I'm going to say, I want to verify the title of that particular page. So in order to do that, I'm just going to use this method. Await, expect, and then I'm going to pass the page itself, which is the page that we have. And then if I hit dot, you will see that there are different extended method available like to have you see that this is the method which is extended by the playwright team this is not available in the just expect itself it is something the playwright team has extended and you can do something like this to have title of the value that you are looking for and this is the title which i'm talking about so i'm just going to copy this particular text and then i'm going to paste it over here that's it so you will notice that now it is even more readable and even more efficient way of doing it. Instead of doing it in two line, I just did in just like one line of code. So let me try running this code and see what is really happening. You will notice that it is going to the launch page. And yeah, there we go. We have this launch just in our last lecture. I'm sorry about that. Let me try running it once again.
and you see that this line has been executed as well like 259 millisecond and it got passed so the to have title is also working as expected so this is another way to work with the assertion to be extended in a way which the playwright team has extended and the other uh, assertion that we could do is to verify if we are in this particular warehouse.co.nz page or not well how do i do it so i'm going to put one more await i'm going to say expect of the page to be or maybe to have url so there is this method called our, called us to have url if i just use this method and then i can uh, go copy this particular url i'm gonna paste it over here that's it so this is to verify if i go into this particular page once the dom content is loaded i am on this the warehouse.co.nz page maybe the warehouse exists in the australia if i do it from the australia location then it should be warehouse.co.au something like that so if i want to verify these kind of geographical location i could be able to do it as well but because i wanted to test exclusively the new zealand website then i should go and put this and verify if my url is going to be the new zealand website so this is another way of doing it as well and you remember in our recorded code that we did over here we also try doing and expect like if this is in this particular page we even modified this in our last lecture if you remember and what is the next best way to use this assertion library so if you see here once we hover this particular page this guy i wanted to verify if the uh, i mean this is like a hypothetical test but just wanted to verify if this particular uh, category is really visible or not if i want to verify that i could do it as well so i could do expect and you know what the expect can even accept not only the page but it also accept a locator so i can pass the whole locator as you can see over here something like this i wanted to expect this particular locator and then if i hit dot and if i say to b and then there is a method called as visible i can verify if this particular category root is visible or not so this is also going to be a better test if i'm not wrong so let's try running it you see here the to be visible executed in 12 milliseconds and it is working as expected so this is pretty cool this is to be visible and once i uh, do like two lines of code over here it is almost always efficient to put this in a separate line of code and then start using it because this is going to be like uh, two lines we can just use a var category root is equal to await something like this and then i can use this category root dot over and probably i can just get rid of this something like this so this is even more easier to read and work with that particular and you can see that it is working as expected so now we have verified this option but what if i wanted to test a negative uh, scenario for example once i uh, click menu the home category menu then i wanted the uh, mega menu to be uh, not available or not visible something like that if i wanted to do it how do i do it well there are two ways to do it but i'm going to just show you the first way and then i will also show you the second way later on so what i'm going to do is once i perform a click operation i wanted this guy to be invisible right so i'm going to copy this i'm not going to create a variable or something like that it's again up to you if you wanted to do it but i'm just going to make things more or keep things more simpler and then there is a method called as a not see that this method is going to help you do it and in this particular uh, method you are going to be saying to be not to be visible like that so once you perform a click operation you are expecting it not to be visible that's your test so let's see if that works and you can see that the test has got passed so it is not visible which is also cool so now this is working fine as expected and what if i wanted to do it in a different way which i was talking about the second way of doing it which is nothing but not to be visible you can do it this one or you can also do using what is called as to be hidden 
something like this. This is going to be hidden anyways, right? So uh, once you perform a click operation, this is either not visible and it is also hidden. So if I run this test, you will see that see that that particular control is hidden right now. So this is working fine as well. So all these tests that we are seeing over here are working as expected. And this is the assertions power in the playwright.